Welcome to the 8th grade math homework helper series. Tonight's homework is review integers. So let's review the rules for integers. You have multiplying integers. If you have a positive times a positive, your answer will be positive. If you have a negative times a negative, your answer will be positive. If you have a negative and a positive, or a positive and a negative, any combination where you have two different signs, your answer when multiplying is always going to be negative. The rules are the same for dividing. Two positives or two negatives are going to equal a positive, and any combination of negative and positive is going to equal negative. As for adding and subtracting integers, if you have the same signs, you're going to add and keep the sign. So we have a positive plus a positive equals a positive, and a negative plus a negative equals a negative. If you have different signs, you're going to subtract and keep the sign of the larger number. So if you have a large positive and a small negative, your answer will stay positive. If you have a large negative and a small positive, your answer will stay negative. Now when you're subtracting, if you subtract a negative, it makes the negative number a positive. So let's take a look at example of that. We have 4 minus minus 15. You can see we have the two negatives. Those two negatives actually work together to create a positive. And that 15, which started out negative, is also now positive. So this would become 4 plus 15, which is 19. Let's try these out. So we have 1 times negative 5. So let's think about the rule that applies here. We have a positive times a negative equals a negative. So 1 times 5 is 5, and it has to be negative 5. For number 8, we have a negative 8 times 9. The rule we're using here is negative times positive, which should get us a negative. So that would be 8 times 9 is 72, and our answer has to be negative, so it's negative 72. For number 9, we have a positive times a negative, so our answer is going to be negative. 9 times 3 is 27, negative 27. And for number 10, we have two negatives, an 8 and a 3. So the rule we're using here is two negatives make a positive, and so it's 8 times 3 is 24. Now let's take a look at dividing. For number 17, we have 36 divided by negative 4. The rule is a positive divided by a negative is going to give us a negative. So 36 divided by 4 equals 9, and it's negative 9. For number 18, we have negative 24 divided by 4. The rule is a negative divided by a positive is going to give you a negative answer. So then 24 divided by 4 is 6, and it has to be negative. For number 19, we have two negative numbers. We have a negative divided by a negative, which is going to get us a positive. So we have negative 14 divided by negative 7. So 14 divided by 7 is 2, and it will be positive 2. And for number 20, we have a positive divided by a positive gets us a positive for an answer. So 56 divided by 8 it's going to give us 7. Now let's take a look at adding integers. So for number 27 we have 5 plus negative 3 equals. The rule is right up here. We have a large positive and a small negative. So the answer will be positive. Since the signs are different, we're actually going to subtract them. So 3 from 5 is positive 2. For 28, we have 7 plus 18. So we have a positive and a positive. So we're simply going to add them and get a positive answer. So 7 plus 18 equals 25. For number 29, we have negative 2 plus negative 9. Remember, if the signs are the same, you add them and keep the sign. So in this case, there are two negatives. We're going to keep a negative answer. So 9 plus 2 is 11 and we keep the negative sign. For number 30, we have a large positive and a small negative. Even though the, the numbers are reversed, this p is connected to the 10, this n is connected to the negative 2. And the order really doesn't matter for these. So we, are, we have two different signs, so we're going to subtract, and we're going to keep the sign of the larger. So we're going to keep a positive answer. So we have 10 minus 2, which is 8, and it's going to stay positive. And lastly, we'll take a look at subtracting integers. 
So for 37, we have 6 minus 2. The rule we have is a positive minus a positive, and as long as the first positive is larger, it's going to give us a positive answer, which is true in this case. So 6 minus 2 is going to give us a positive 4. For number 38, the rule that we have is a positive and being subtracted from a negative. So we have two negatives. Those are going to combine to give us a positive. And so we're going to have 8 plus 15, which gets us 23. And here we have a negative and a being subtracted from another negative. And that gives us negative 4 because we add the signs are the same. We add them, keep the sign. And for number 40, we have 17 minus minus 12, so that two negative, the double negative, they combine to become a positive, so the 12 becomes positive, and we're left with 17 plus 12, which gives you 29. Please use the work that was done for you tonight to help you to solve any additional problems that are on your homework. And remember, the key to success in math is not only working hard, but working smart.